Greetings, and welcome to Geffen Library. That book... Few people have ever borrowed it before. It would take ages to find it. But don't worry. In this city of magic, nothing is impossible. We have recently installed a magical cataloging system to help. So, shall we give it a try? A young one into history. Most people your age aren't even interested in this kind of thing. I am Karamov, a member of the Reckenberg Historical Research Group, and author of the Rune Midgard's Epics. Yes, the book you're holding. If you like, I can walk you through some chapters. Well, you've picked the most fascinating part of the book. Now, the story time. Jormungand, the World Serpent, once wreaked havoc upon the Midgard continent. Until seven heroes rose. Eventually, they slew the giant serpent and established the Rune Midgard's kingdom. They were then known as the Seven Saints. However, Jormungand laid a vicious curse before dying. Whoever takes my life shall suffer eternally. Every firstborn of his bloodline shall be haunted by nightmares and strangled to death at a young age. The one who ended Jormungand's life was none other than the first king of Rune Midgans, Tristan Gilborg I. Well, King Tristan had no desire for absolute power and he was concerned that the curse would cause the Gilborg line to be left with no heirs as the centuries passed. So, to ensure Rune could continue to thrive, he established the electoral system for the kingship. When the old king passed away, the seven families could elect a prince of at least 12 years of age. This is the memorable Foundation Legends of the Rune Midgard's Kingdom. The story of the old legend is indeed thrilling. It's just... The fate of House Tristan is tragic. The legend was passed down through generations as a song. I will sing it for you. Here it goes. <laughs> I haven't practiced singing in years. I hope you like it. Hmm. You're welcome. I'll be here for a while. Come and find me if you have any...
come back at last. Did she tell you who the figure in white behind her was? God, I can't believe it really has something to do with that incident. The less you know about this, the better. Since you've confirmed that Barney had a connection with the White Witch, your mission is complete here. I'll pay you, but make sure you don't tell anyone else about this. I cannot jump to conclusions before everything is clearer. I hope you understand. Right. Did Bonnie say anything else? Hmm. That's all she gave you? All right. Thank you for your help. I'll find a way to learn the truth behind Lucy's death and contact you again. All hail mighty Odin, adventurer. Hmm. It looks like a... No. It's not that simple. Oh, mighty Odin. Powerful dark magic remains within this gem, hiding its true nature. I cannot identify... Yes. Since it imbues dark magic, we can neutralize it with holy power. However, I am worried that when we dispel the dark magic, Monsters from the Divergent Dimension will be attracted. Well, Church has tasked me with the duty to help people. I cannot refuse such a request from a virtuous citizen like you, can I? Let's do this. But you must do the cleanup. This is the Cathedral, after all. No monster residues are allowed under this holy roof. This involves exorcism. Bishop Rupert Kafara is the one you should seek for help. My pleasure. May Odin guide your path. Thieves are stealthy. If you ever encounter one in combat, watch you. I've seen you a lot in the cathedral recently. Is there anything I can help you with? A shattered gemstone? Let me have a look. Oh, such gemstones are mostly used in certain rituals to protect the casters from potential harm. And there seems to be a piece of someone's memory inside. To reveal it, we'll have to crush the gem. If you...
Seems you... You don't look very well. Why do you ask such unusual questions? Normally, exorcism rituals do not cause death. Unless it wasn't used to banish demons. But to lift a... Unfortunately, I stopped performing exorcism ever since I became a bishop. The royal exorcism prayer over there should provide you with detailed records. Why are you here again? Didn't I tell you I'd contact you if something is up? You still don't trust me. I swear in Odin's name. Um, you know about that already. That incident indeed refers to that exorcism ceremony from... The third prince started showing symptoms of the Jormungand curse and required an exorcism. Bonnie was the one who led the ritual. Yes, and the prince died during it. Bonnie's life was only spared because I begged for it. But she was removed from the position of royal exorcist and was exiled from Conterra. As I was the one who recommended Bonnie for the task, I too was implicated in the matter and lost my position as bishop. You think there's something strange about it? Bonnie made a mistake during the ritual and summoned a monster from another realm. The frail prince absorbed too many shadow elements, which aggravated the curse and took his life. There was nothing odd about it. But Bonnie is from a great house of exorcism, and the ritual has always been used to cure the Jormungand curse. How ignorant. Every child in Pronterra knows that the Tristan princes have been cursed by Jormungand for generations. It is their fate. You. How does an adventurer like you know that? Shush! Who would dare murder a prince? Enough! I'll hear no more of this! This matter no longer has anything to do with you. I will investigate Lucy's death myself. You should leave now.